up guys it's fish and mass um it's been about a month since my last video i know i haven't been busy there should be no excuses um just haven't made any videos i always say oh i'm gonna do one the next day and the next day comes i'm like you know what i'm doing one the next day so i'm gonna do a rod and reel video right now for you guys um i got nothing special what i have i am gonna be picking up some more i spent uh, quite a bit of money on this new truck I bought. It's a 2009 Toyota Tundra. If you want me to do a video on that, showing you guys my truck I just bought, whatever, I'll do it. Just let me know. Um, but we'll get into my rod and rails, and uh, I'll probably do a couple more videos. Right, getting into my rod and rails. Um, this is my first one. This is my favorite combo. I got a black max reel on here. You guys all know about the black max reels. Um, made by Abu Garcia. This one has five bearings. Um, not sure the gear ratio on this one. It doesn't say it. And oh, it's a six four to one actually. Yeah, it does say it. Six four to one gear ratio. I got fourteen pound Trilene XL low vis green on this. Um, my favorite line by far is the trialing. Um, I got this on a tor uh, KVD tor touring series rod. Micro guide. First time using micro guides is this year, and I love it. So I'm probably going to stick to these micro guided rods. All in all, this combo uh, is very light. Um, my favorite combo out of all of them. Um, I throw anything on this from spinner baits, crank baits to jerk baits, everything. This is an all around good combo. This is one combo. 6'6. Six, six. This is a <clears throat> medium heavy, so plenty of backbone. The tip is it's not too stiff and not too soft. Um, that's why I like it. This is like just a neutral rod and reel right here. This is one of the best combos I have. Um, rod's about 130, reel's uh, about 60. Combo. Black Max Reel, same deal, five, five, uh, five bearings, and a 6 4 to 1 gear ratio, same line, 14 pound test line, as the Trilene Low Vis Green, the rod is actually the Black Max Rod, um, the reel, again, yes, great reels. Love the reels. Second season on them. They're still holding up pretty good. The Black Max rod, not so much. Uh, the rod itself is good, but the eyes, if you can see, the plastic pops out of the eyes. See, that's that's one without a plastic. This is what it looks like. It's got the plastic on the guides. This is second eye this is popped out on. Um the one bad thing about these rods other than that they're all right you know the stiffness in them is good the flimsiness on the top but the uh, tip is good this is a 6.6 six medium so it's another great combo i think not expensive so anybody can go out and buy these this is good good rods anyways um don't you fall my third combo is my second favorite i don't know why i didn't show you the second but this is the Buku Micro Guide Rods, um, Falcon Graphite Rod. It, these these Buku rods are no joke. This is like 130 bucks as well. Um, it's got the Micro Guides on it. This rod is is pretty hot. It's light, very light, like the KVD. Um, this is a medium. Thick backbone, tips just like the Torin KVD. It's a little soft, but it's, it's stiff enough. This is a 6.6. Six. I don't know if I said it. Um, really great rod. I like the micro guides. I'm getting into them. This is a bait cast reel I've actually had for three seasons now. I've used for maybe half a one. This is a Pinnacle Platinum Plus bait cast reel. Six bearings. Um... 6 2 to 1 gear ratio. For a beginning re uh, bait cash reel, this is a very good reel. This is like 40 bucks at Walmart. Um, that's where I bought this. All that other stuff I got at Dick Sporting Goods or Walmart. Um, 
Mainly from Dick's Sporting Goods, though. Like, these reels aren't bad. I'm telling you right now. If that's all you can afford is 40 bucks, um, go to Walmart and get one. They got they got cheap rods there. So get a nice cheap combo. Start off and see how it is. See if you even like bait casting. It's not made for everybody. My girlfriend, she she's not great at using bait casters. Um, so you never know. You know what I mean? I got 12-pound strand on this. That's got to come off. That's been on there for three years now. Um... So that's that. Good combo. Gonna switch out that reel though. I'm gonna buy uh I'm gonna probably buy two more bait cash reels. Probably a Pro Max and a Silver Max. Because uh, they're just good good reels so far. I have no problems with them. Um, I don't use spin rods that much, spin cast combos, but this one I take with me just to have um, like I'm gonna show you in the next video about the shaky heads. I got shaky head rig rigged up on this. Um, this is mainly going to be my shaky head, drop shot, um, wacky bait, rod maybe, about that wacky bait. I don't know. I like using bait casters for that. But this is a <clears throat> six, this is a seven foot Berkeley lightning rod. The tip actually broke off of it, uh, I think like four inches or so. So... It's a shorter, shorter, but you know, I trimmed it up and cleaned the end up so it's not, it doesn't even look broken. Works just fine. It's a two piece rod. Um, it's, a, it's just a medium. Not medium light, not medium anything else, not medium like in there. It's a medium. All my rods are mostly medium because that's, that's just, that's my preference. Like I said, like this line, it's 12 pound strand. You guys might throw 10 pound. Oh well, you know what? It's what I use. Um, Works for me. I got a Cardinal 354i by Abu Garcia on here. Not a bad spin reel. It's quite old. You can see all the scratches on it and stuff. It's, it's pretty old. I used it, but I don't use it that often anymore. This is my was my trout rod, but I'm going to probably use this as a crappie rod this year. It doesn't come with me that often on the boat, but I might start just leaving it in there just because I have room for it. This is a 6.6 Shakespeare Excursion Graphite Rod. The action is medium as well. Um, I don't know what the deal is, but all my tips end up getting broken off my spin combos. Don't ask me why, but I clean them up and it looks like it's not even broken. So it works just as fine. And uh, this reel is a Mitchell Advocate. Excuse me. 2 S2000. It's a small reel. I got um, 10 pound trilene on it right now. You can see that. This cap is not the original cap. I lost the original cap when I was cleaning it. So uh, I had to find another one. So I just put another one on there. It doesn't look cool, but whatever. It's a freaking fishing pole, you know. Um, so yeah, it's going to be crappie rod. Sometimes my trout rod if I do go fishing for trout. Here you guys, this reel. Right? Freaking cat. Get out of cat. Get out of here! This is another one of those forty dollar uh, Walmart reels. This is probably four years old. I don't use it. Um, it just sits there. Yeah, you know what I mean. This is a Field and Stream Sportsman IM6 series rod right here. This is a six six rod. Action is medium. This is a two piece bait cast rod right here. Brand new still. Still got the paper uh, plastic on and everything. Um, I might do that in a giveaway. I might do that in a giveaway because I don't use it. I bought it because I have a street bike. I have a 2006 R6 Yamaha 600cc sport bike. I figured I was going to throw it in my backpack and just go pond hopping, but it really sucks when you're doing that shit by yourself, so I don't do it. And I'm going to buy some more reels and, and probably one more rod. Um, I'll do a video if you guys want me to, so like, comment, subscribe.